Hey, this is Tia from OTR Performance, and today I got behind me a 2011 Volvo with a D13 that has a bad after treatment shot off valve. So, today I'm going to show you how to replace it. This is what the valve looks like you got the valve connector here, the pressure sensor, you got fuel going in, fuel going to the seventh injector, and then fuel return line. The valve is located on the left side of the engine right behind the uh, fuel filter. So let's get started. Remove the side fairing panel. Slide under the truck. Disconnect the electrical connectors from the shutoff valve. There will be two connectors on top of the valve. Using a 17 mm wrench, remove the fuel injector supply line banjo bolt. Make sure you do not lose the seals when removing the banjo bolt. Using a 14 mm wrench, remove the fuel return line banjo bolt. Using a 19 mm wrench, remove the fuel inlet line banjo bolt. Make sure you do not lose any of the seals. You can clean and reuse the seals if they are not damaged. There are two seals per banjo bolt, but it is recommended to use new seals. Using a 12 mm wrench, remove the shutoff valve mounting bolts. Remove the old valve. Install the new valve and tighten the mounting bolts. Install the fuel supply line banjo bolt. Make sure the seals are clean or use new ones if they are damaged. Install the fuel injector supply line banjo bolt. Again, Make sure the seals are clean or use new ones. Install the fuel return line banjo bolt. And also again, make sure the seals are clean or use new ones. If they are damaged, you could have a fuel leak. Connect the electrical connectors on top of the shutoff valve. Make sure the connectors are connected correctly and securely locked. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, let us know. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website, otrperformance.com, for more information. Until next time, keep hauling.